We are living through an era of unprecedented change in healthcare. To continue to be a global leader in surgical training, we must respond to the challenges and opportunities such change presents. So after a period of widespread consultation and evaluation, we have completely restructured our approach to surgical training. We are very excited to present to you our new surgical training pathway, and this short presentation will outline what it is all about. Central to our new pathway are four key elements which we'd like to bring to your attention. First of all, it's shorter. The pathway to becoming a surgeon is of necessity a challenging and lengthy one. A critical factor in our new pathway is that it gives the trainee the opportunity to complete training in a seamless eight years. Secondly, we're committed to optimizing training outcomes from the point of admission right through to the completion of training. And accordingly, this pathway has been quality assured at all stages of the process. Thirdly, trainees will follow a structured surgical training program, which will from the outset put operative skills at the core of training. Finally, this pathway introduces a rigorous and multidimensional approach to assessment throughout training to ensure the delivery of a surgical workforce which matches the service needs of our country. OK, so how does this new pathway look? First of all, each applicant for surgical training is now evaluated using a comprehensive range of criteria. Those who are selected for surgical training will, immediately on entry, undertake an intensive week-long surgical boot camp. This will ensure all trainees have a basic surgical skill set, so they can assist their trainers in theatre from the very beginning of their first year. During their first year, trainees will typically carry out two six-month rotations in general surgery and trauma and orthopaedics. These rotations will now, where possible, take place in the same location. Throughout first year, and indeed throughout their entire formation, to complement their hospital-based learning, trainees will attend a series of intensive training days in RCSI to further develop their clinical and interpersonal skills. As they progress, trainees identify which specialty they wish to pursue. Their expressed preferences, coupled with an ongoing assessment, will help determine which trainees proceed into which specialties for the second year. Each trainee will continue to be evaluated in the second year. Operative skills will be assessed in a number of different ways, with CAPA reports being a key element of this assessment. Towards the end of this year, trainees will attend a specialty interview. All of these elements feed into a multi-dimensional scorecard, which will determine which trainees are to progress and into which disciplines. Those trainees who are selected to progress proceed directly into the third year of surgical training in their specialty. In the early years of specialist training, trainees take a structured course in research methodologies to prepare them for future research in their field. After year six, trainees have an option. They may elect to pursue a subspecialty fellowship, either abroad or in Ireland, or they can opt to continue training in their current location for the final two years. Either way, these final two years bring the trainee to the conclusion of their training. And so, through the course of a seamless eight years, the trainee becomes a fully qualified surgeon, trained to highest of international standards ready to lead surgical practice nationally and internationally. For more information on the RCSI Surgical Pathway, visit www.rcsi.ie forward slash surgery.